Welcome! This is a companion video for the Distributed Proofreader's walkthrough. That walkthrough can be found at www.pgdp.net. We are working to preserve some of the world's literary history in a form everyone can use. You can help. The walkthrough and this video shows how. We use a web-based method that eases the conversion process from scanned images of books to ebooks. In this method, each page is handled separately. That way, many volunteers can work on a book at the same time. This speeds up the process. During the first round of proofreading, a single web page presents a scanned page image with the corresponding converted text. This allows the text to be easily compared to the image, proofread, and sent back to the site. The work of the first round is then verified and corrected in two subsequent rounds of proofreading, followed by two rounds of formatting. After that, there is a post-processing step where the pages are assembled into the ebook. Optionally, the ebook can be posted to a smooth reading step before being posted to Project Gutenberg. Now let's look at the nine pages of the walkthrough. The first page is simply a welcome page. On the left is a green box with the nine steps of the walkthrough, with links to those steps. To the right, there is a link to start the walkthrough. Clicking that link brings you to the second page. After you get to the welcome page, you can click a link that will take you to the activity hub. This page shows a summary of all the activities that go on here, and lets you choose what you want to work on. New volunteers have access only to proofreading round one and smooth reading. Access to other rounds comes later, when certain requirements are met. On the pages for the various rounds, there are a short explanation of that round, banners for special occasions, a news item, and a rule reminder. If you don't have access to a round yet, you'll see the entrance requirements and how close you are to them. Note that in the description of what happens in this stage, the page texts are output from scanning software and need to have the text carefully compared to the image. Toward the bottom of the page, there's a list of books, known as projects, available in that round. You can sort them by clicking on the table headers. Click on the name of the project you want to work on. We recommend you start with a project marked Beginners Only. These books are reviewed by mentors, who will send you detailed feedback and useful tips in a few days. In this example, we are selecting the Beginners Only project named The Example. The project page has a lot of information about the project, presented at different detail levels. Much of this information is not related to the proofreading itself. For proofreading, the most important area is the project comments. This is where you can see if there are any special instructions for the project. Also, there is a link to the project forum, which is a good place to ask questions. This is the standard proofreading interface, where you see both the scanned image of the original book's page and the text below. During proofreading, you need to compare the text and the image, making corrections so that they match. For instance, in this example, the heading should be deleted and ARID is a scanning error for the word AND. Scrolling through the page, you can see other errors as well. See the proofreading guidelines for the details of what types of changes should be made. Let's look at the main buttons of this interface. The Save as in Progress button saves any changes made on the page and remains on this screen. The Save as Done button saves changes and returns to the project page the page is considered done. The Stop Proofreading button returns to the project page without saving it. The Return Page to Round button makes your page available for another proofreader, and all of your changes are lost. Notice that there are links to resources, such as the project comments, the proofreading guidelines, and the interface help. You can control the image size by the three magnifying buttons, which decrease the image size by 25%, increase the image size by 25%, and revert to the original size. Also, there are special character dropdowns for accented letters. Back to the project page, you'll see that the page is now listed as done. Your last five done and in progress pages are listed here. Clicking on a done page will open the proofreading interface and make the page in progress again. If you click in the page details section on the project page, you get a list of the images and texts saved in each round, as well as the differences, or diffs, between them. It can show all the pages in the project, or it can be filtered to show only your pages. Note the last column, 
Edit. For any page that you have proofread, you can click on the Edit link to go back and re-proofread it to fix something. You can always go back and redo a page, up until the time the whole project is done and moves on to the next round. If you click on a diff in the Page Details page, you can see the differences between the scan text and the corrected text. In this case, the only change was from Truffy to Trophy. A common way of getting feedback on your work is to check the diffs created by the round following yours. In summary, to start proofreading, select a project from the Proofreading Round 1 page. At the top of the list, there will be one or more identified as Beginners Only. On those projects, you'll get feedback from a mentor after a few days. You're welcome to choose any project on that page, but you're only guaranteed to get feedback on the Beginners Only projects. Remember to read the project comments before starting to proofread, and to keep the guidelines or the PDF summary open for reference. Don't hesitate to post in the project's discussion thread if you have any doubts. What next? Try out the DP walkthrough yourself, and then, if you haven't signed up for an account yet, start out by registering. After that, you can print the two-page PDF guidelines summary and try the proofreading quiz. Another option is smooth reading where you can read books that are nearly finished and just need a final read-through. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoy proofreading with us.